glorious! 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 Glory lasts forever! What's up guys, welcome back for some glorious mate today we're on the PTS season 3 conquest shenanigans we're playing Fenrir and we're trying to start the I prefer and I actually believe it was Harry that said it to me wouldn't it make so you know get Harry's fucking credit wouldn't it make more sense to go mids blue because mids are important this way you guarantee them rather than going blue peg slain mids I don't know what other people do I know most people start at mid though but honestly I do see the merit in starting the mids because it means you guarantee one set. It kinda fucks over the mage, but pff, who cares? You're a mage man. Mage in season three is easy peasy. So yeah. What I'm thinking is that, that makes the most sense. Of course if everyone starts doing it it makes no sense because then you're fighting for mids, which is Well, it's a throwback to season one where people used to start at each side of the mids, so that was interesting. And normally I don't even bother going for these, they give so little, but you know, they're there. I may as well take them. And then it's like, holy shit. This solo's here. I actually think it's jungle. I actually think this is a Cyrus jungle. And he's just chasing me. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. And then I check and go, wait a minute. Why the fuck is the solo chasing me? Why? He just threw me an entire wave to hit me. And I've got Boombas and Pots. It, it's so stupid. But yeah, I prefer starting meds blue pegs or no pegs and just go straight to the lane or go straight to the stupid little mini XP boost thing at the fire giant I don't know like I'm not entirely sure where I'm going but I'm definitely doing meds blue and then the kind of usual season 2 shenanigans um, splitting the back harpies with the mid as jungle you're gonna have to farm up a fucking lot there's not a lot of farm in the jungle it encourages two things which is not good invades so good like three or four man parties with a certain team comps including cheesy team comps which you may have to put up with might just invade your shit like I don't know an afro or a savannah you know something like that you know something with a heal so they got the sustain they could go around just clear out your jungle and there's nothing you can do about it because they've got the sustain and they're well coordinated they could clear your jungle put you behind because it is so hard to find XP it kind of reminds me of clash in that regard you can find the gold but the XP is really missing. Oh yeah, and another thing as well as we should get this kill. Maybe give him the shield. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes. I'm on any. Die to tower. Ah, I mean, you got a force blood, then die to tower. That's a complete win. And of course, if you're on any, you might get some rubber banding, and you might get the occasional jump stun that just doesn't connect or acts very strangely, and you might see that. And that's just the way it is. So yeah, like I said, I've been experimenting and I quite like I quite like the mid star. I quite like mids blue. Ability gods. Or gods that I prefer to run as ability gods like Fenrir. He can run as A, but I prefer him as ability god, because these two abilities do a lot of damage. I prefer the two just as sort of a boxing tool slash power boost. Because it is a power boost as well, it's not just a lifesteal, you do get power out of it. So it's always neat to keep that in mind when you get at max rank. I do prefer run of kind of as the ability, kind of tanky, warrior, kind of god, right? He does that kind of thing. And the gods kind of get nerfed. Now, the reason they get nerfed is because you can't really... Well, I mean, you, you can still do... You can still do breastplate, but it's not super good anymore. It's still decent. It's just more of a guardian item. Maybe that's what they want, like... They want me not to buy that kind of thing, but at the same time, the kit calls for it. So, I don't know, there's been some weird changes. I used the feedback form. I hope you guys all did the feedback form. It is on the Smite official forms, and it's on the Reddit, and you should go let them know what you think. But yeah, Ability Gods kind of suffered a little bit. It's harder to build bulky, but, you know, obviously I've got a build in mind, so it's like... You just got to believe, man. You got to put some effort in, and you can find a way to still build bulky. But it's not as good as the season two bulky, right? It's not. It's just not as good. But it's it's doable. It's decent, and I 
kind of like it still, right? I, I'm quite fond of season 3 already. I like the relic change, I can't believe I'm saying that, but I do like it. Thanks for the free kill, Salt. Thanks for the free kill. Farewell. Burst her little fire bubble. Feel good. See, gods like Thor, gods like Fenrir, gods like Ratatasker, they all kind of got an like, indirect nerf for the ionization changes. But their kits are still fairly strong. Uh, makes it Ratatasker, his only hope is CDR and his heal, because he's ult's so good, but, and his heal's so good, but he's really limited. Um, that's a god I think needs a small buff, or at least some items to change to suit what he offers, or for his acorns to get a slight change in what they offer to make him good. I think that's all he really needs, honestly. Um, but yeah, g again, God's life for him to suffer. Um, wow, <laughs> he's got meditation as well. Lovely. See, I'm desperately trying to fucking ult. It just wouldn't work, but eventually got it. We got the kill. Revive didn't die, which... Oh, never mind. He did die. Well, I didn't think he would die, but he did. But we got the kill, so it's all good, whatever. Meditation came to the rescue there for the... Sorry, but we still got him. We still got him. And meditation is actually like my do- Oh, fuck off. Well, I'm gonna die. Farewell. No mana, no abilities. Using shell though. Shell! 7 HP! All hail the shell! Shell saves lives, people. Saves lives. It was good. It was good. For those who don't know, 45, 45 temporary protection boost and 15% damage mitigation. It is pretty juicy. And it put in a lot of work. Um, so, like, like try, try to say constantly because shit keeps happening. Ability God's got a small nerf. I feel like you need to go Jotuns now. You need to try and get that little sudden burst. I feel like you need to go CC boost now to get the health pool increase. That's another thing. If we had Warrior Tab, I would have died there as well. Not just the shell. We would have died without the 150 health boost. So, the active choice and this the actual boot choice has so far saved our life. The more you know. So, that's, that's, I, can, I can't help but recommend them. They put in a lot of work. But yeah, Thor did get an air flow, but he still got a strong kit. That's because normally you'd want to go something like Breastplate, or you could go Jotun's Mill over Nil. These things were good. They offered health, Mill or Nil. Offered physical protection, which is good. Offered 15% CDR, so you could cap with two items. But you'd have Jotun's as well, which offer 25%. But now Jotun's off, offers 20, and then the other items mainly offer 10, which means you can't get. Fuck, you get dumpstered there. Which means you can't get. Oh god, that was bad. I'm gonna die. Farewell. Uh, you know what? Credit to the Aries. It was smart. He noticed my ult was down, and then he pulled me in, based off that fact alone. However, we did get beads, which is still pretty tasty. So, beads on a long ass cooldown. So that makes Thor very liable to die, which is nice. So yeah, you lost a lot of CDR. You lost a lot of protections. You lost a lot of health. So now you're trying to figure out ways to build similar to that. Now I know you're thinking, maybe you just shouldn't build like that, but the kit demands you do. If you build anything other than that, if you just see if you just build something like this, right? Let's just imagine you are Th Thor or Fenrir. It doesn't matter, right? They're both basically the same god. They build the same. Fenrir's got a little bit more leeway, but you know, for me, they build the same. Let's just say you build Warrior Tabai, Yones, Titans, Beat Stick, Crusher and transcendence, right? Maximum pain, maximum power, smash your abilities because you are an ability god. What would happen? Well, your abilities would deal a lot of damage. But what else would happen? You would die really fast, really easily, and for free, and you would get out-traded by the A gods because A's scale 100 fucking percent and have lifesteal and crit and shit, and you don't, and you're gonna suffer for it, and my god, that Thor is a pussy. So, maybe not take it back, but he's not very good because he missed. But it doesn't matter because, yeah, I tried to save him, but I could not. Yeah, 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 you're gonna die, boy. Give me that kill, fuck you so big. Worth. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. And that felt weird. See, it's weird, see when you're playing it, it feels a lot more rubber banded than it actually appears. Honestly, I can't stress that enough. I'm probably gonna die. I was tempted to turn around on her, but. Let's not take a chance here, so she does swing. I'm very scared. So finally we can go back to where we were. You lost a lot in CDR. You lost a lot in health. Oh god, the knife's there. You lost a lot in protections and you lost a lot... Actually, that's means that. <laughs> you lost health, CDR and protections. Um, you can still get them, but it costs more items now. 
But other gods, mainly mages, didn't receive this nerf. They can still get maximum CDR so easily. They now swing earlier because they do more buff. They like they got a lot of buffs, whereas you basically got a fuck all. You lost things. And again, you can't trade with the A gods. Wow, fucking that's a lot of damage. Because the A gods scale 100%, they've got life, so they get crit. So if you full, full, full burst, like we were talking about, you just die. You needed some health, some protections, and then just some pen to get basically a little bit above uh, true damage on your abilities. That's what you needed, that's what you wanted, right? But you can't really do that now, or you can't do it as effectively. So the idea is you still need to do it, but it's harder to do, so you've got to be a little bit smarter about how you do it. So I've taken a link to Void, I know I did cover this. Um, yesterday with the Thoughts in Season 3 video and definitely Void Shield's the way to go, for me. Now the reason you don't get things like Runic Shield or Anseal or fuck it, Runic Shield, Anseal, Shifter Shield, the reason they don't really go to these, and Shifter Shield did get a small buff but I'm still not, I'm still not the biggest fan, it's alright, but it's still, it's not quite a protection item and you know it doesn't quite offer as much damage as Void Shield so I still can't recommend it. But the reason you're forcing items like Void Shield and not Runic or Anseal, because Void Shield comes with Pen. Pen is what you want for your damage, so you get Pen on Void Shield. And you get a little bit of Pen at rank 2, which makes it nice. But it also offers you protections, which is giving you the bulk to kind of be able to use your abilities and fight back. It's definitely what you want, it's definitely what you need, it's definitely what... I think you're going to see a lot more in Season 3. That's, that's basically the best way to put it. You're going to see it a lot more often. It's going to put in a lot of work, I think. It's, it's hard to tell, it's still, you know, it's still the PTS, it's still new, but... It, it boosts your damage and gives you physical D. You can't complain, you just saw that there, man. There's a thought there, don't care, ignore him. There's an Ares there, Pff, didn't hit his chains, don't care. And get a free kill. Like, I've not actually bought a true 100% defense item. I've bought CC boots, which still offer power, so they're not a full defense item. But they offer health and crowd control reduction, 30%, caps 40. I've got 20% CDR, you know, I've got 10 pen, and then they got the 8 reduction. Like, it's, it's the dream. Ah. Oh, that's not good. Ares does kind of counter you a little bit. Chains cripples you, it will cancel your 3, and you can't use your 1, and that will, you know, that will not be good times, so you do not want that. So, I believe we've now covered Fenrir, and kind of gods like Thor as well. They suffer a little bit because the itemization change, you've got to be a bit smarter. Archon's values went up a bit as well, you know, Archon's very strong. And now it just feels stronger. And look, beads or purification, but they will always be beads to me. Why beads? Aries, right? My ult is CC immune, which is good in the new meta, don't get me wrong, and a mobile, which is good. But you still got to get the beads, I think. I just feel like this is one of those matchups where, yeah, alright, you want beads. Because you really got to think what else could you possibly want. The only active I would honestly consider is. Meditation. <laughs> it's weird me saying that, holy shit. Yeah man, meditation, it's, it's good now, it's, it's weird. But I feel meditation is quite impactful. Like you saw earlier that it, it kind of half saved uh, the service's life, he still died. This is a free kill, she flies back, here's my three, she dies. That's rendered me fair. Nothing really she can do about it, making sure I get the kill, give me that. Mm, nom 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 nom, give me a tasty bit of that, Neath. Tasty. Obviously she's asking, but you've seen the way she, she dresses, man, or doesn't dress. She, she totally wants it. She wants a bit of the fair reaction. Fresh off the damage numbers, 64, which is not bad, then it goes down to 51, so a 13 boost at rank 2, which is pretty decent, in my opinion. And it's only going to go up as it levels up. And that is kind of how you level Fenrir. You level the one free for the maximum burst early game. Oh god. And... Oh, that was weird. Oh, decent place, people. Could get a kill here. Could get a big so He must have that at rank one as well, because that done like fuck all. Oh yeah, because he's level ten. All right, fair enough. So yeah, he, pro he probably does have it at rank one. It'll be five points in the two, the three, and it wouldn't even be two three. It'd be one. It'd be four four one one. So yeah, it's level one only. And there it is, people. The glorious voice shield. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's weird. I'm not used to seeing it, but. Honestly, try it. I've got a Thor game coming, and I tried it on him as well. He was actually the first person I tried it on. I wasn't recording the first game, but I stomped with it and went, man, I wish I was recording this. So I done a Fenrir game, recorded it, and then I done thought again and recorded it just to show off. So yeah, it was something I really crafted near the start with thinking, 
it has value now. So I got it. In fact, a game that I've got coming maybe in the future, back is, I say support, but I built pretty damagey. <laughs> even put a rod to on him. Up against uh, high res pon pon, and he actually built void shield on his Obelix. And that kind of works as well, because she is kind of. I mean, he's built with shite, to be honest, past the. Up until a point, it was good. Then he bought Solier on, and I went, yeah. But up until that point, it was looking really, really good. And then he bought Solier, and I went, yeah. But up until that, it was good. They had Void Shield on her as well, which I liked. And obviously, the video that I done yesterday was out. This was actually. How many days ago? It was a few days ago. But, I mean, I did build Void Shield before him, arguably, but he'd done it before the video came out. So, he just thought of that. Which, you know, credit to him. I mean, it's not an easy thing, man. Not an easy thing. This is an easy thing, though. Um, he didn't cripple me. Uh, my one missed by a million miles. But we got the kill. We're at 11 16. It is not good, but we're hitting gold. And we're doing pretty well. Try to keep up and farm. We've got OP Ravana from the soul lane, so he's going to be nice and fed. And Ravana's basically just, well, bear of Cyrus. So, fuck. Nice and easy. You actually see swinging quite a bit on the Ravana, which is not bad. But I don't want to risk it. In case people come, but man, the Sobek's hungry for it. I'll take it for you while I know. Yeah, that's a kill. Oh no, he's gonna ult. If I think it was on EU, I think I would get that kill for the ults, but. Any anyway, man, it just it feels weird. Like, I'm fine when it goes up to 120 ping, but see when it spikes to 150 or above, which unfortunately it's been at recently. Man, it. It just pisses me off. The, it, it feels wrong. Big Thor trying to help me there, I saw those sparks. You can have the card on, but you can have me, boy. I'm out. Oh, maybe not. They're hungry for the fucking friend, man. Leave me alone, man. I've got. To look at that top hat. How can you be angry at that? How can you want to kill that? I feel kind of offended here. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go straight for the Mail of Renewal. This was. Uh, it's an item that's not. You don't just always buy it, you sometimes buy it. I felt like I wanted it. Because honestly, it doesn't really do much, it just gives you health. Doesn't give you power, doesn't give you pen, doesn't give you protections. Get you a little bit of cooldown. It's something I don't get a lot, and it's not something I like always recommend. But look at that fucking damage, it was good. It's just something I get every now and then. It's decent, like it's decent. If you don't really feel the need for anything else, you can get it. And it'll work just fine. So yeah, Fenris Freeze really swings. Yeah, you're all swinging a lot as well, the top as well, and you get the least off. It was really nice, and we're going to get a goal here, which is really good. So we might be behind in kills, but we're up in gold, and honestly, that's, that's... That's how you check if you're winning or not. You check the gold. You got a lot of gold? Yeah. More than enemies? Yeah, then we're winning. Fuck it, I don't care for 0 and 20. If we're ahead in gold, we're winning. Fuck the kills. Gladly sacrifice myself to, like, take a tower or a fucking gold fury or whatever the case may be. It's always worth. And we can nearly get the mail of Null now as well, which again will give us the health return. I kind of regret not getting meditation now over the beads because I'm going to go down a kind of health route a little bit. We've got the mail renewal, we've got the CC boots. We can still have either Urchin or Magi's. Since the kind of build route I've went down, it seems more like any Titans now. You know, people are starting to get Fizzy. Fizzy's starting to go up, got to get that 33%. I'm going to end up going on Magi's last. Magi's will block the Thorwall. The Neath Root, the Ares Pool, and the Osiris all and or three. So, oh yeah, and the Thor up. Don't forget the Thor up. So it offers some decent protections. The only thing they can really easily remove it would be the Thor wall. Nothing else is going to take it away. I mean, the Neath Root could, but I mean, that's a bit harder to land. You'd need to be pretty bad to let that hit you. Unless you're, like, not paying attention. Which may happen, because I'm pretty stupid. Not gonna lie, pretty stupid. So, 6 1 and 4. We're 15 and 19. Our bulls looking pretty solid. Bulls looking pretty solid. Our relics are looking pretty good. Very nice. Our Chiron struggling a little bit. But we've got Fed Ravana. Our Apwash is actually having a surprisingly good game. I say surprisingly because Apwash has been nerfed. He's not as strong. And this is one dead Neath. Wow, that felt really weird. She beads. And she tried to flip, but before she could turn around into a good spot. The three actually kill her. Holy shit, me and Nirvana just slaughtered her. And she wasted all her fucking relics as well. And you can see a little bit of the rubber bandy shite there as well. Holy shit, it's not good. This big dirty Osiris though, he's pretty tanky. 
He's not tanky enough. There's a Thorwall. I'm not stopping. I want fucking something. Nope, getting nothing. Getting nothing and back out I go. A disgrace. Oh, if Ferner remains will be fucking screaming at me. You suck it, Ferner. It's not all my fault. The fucking ping is horrendous and it feels dead rubber bandy and I'm not used to it. The only reason I'm fucking queuing it up is because it's late at night. Like, you ever try queuing up EU at 3am? Horrible. But if you queue up NA at 3am, they're like six hours in the past, so that's 9pm, you get pretty good games. Plus the NA players by and large are not as good as the EU players in my opinion, so, you know, easier games. <laughs> Easy game, easy life, boys, just queue up NA. Honestly, I'm not even lying, I once thought about just queuing up NA for ranked, just because I know it would win easier, just to get easy pro, and I went, nah, it's feels like chain, better not do that. Ravana, please, yes, well, the Chiron fed him, but what are you going to do? Shit happens. So next up, like I said, it is going to be the Titans main. I am last eight Magis. I think that's that gives me a lot of health. That gives me a 350, a 350 uh, for 700, and a 150 health item, which takes me 850 health. Finner's already one of the tankier warriors, uh, warriors assassin. So it gives you a decent whack of health and protections. You're a bit low on the magic D, but. I don't know what I was going to say, because Soul does swing, so fuck. Yeah, you're a bit low on the Magi D, watch out for the Soul. But your Fizz D, once you get Magi, it'll be fine, because you've already got Void Shield. Offering you 50, plus your base, plus an extra 15, plus you have some health. Plus, all the Fizz are mainly ability gods, so health will help you. Yes, yes, need still a Hunter, but her abilities are the they kind of burst, her main swing, in my opinion. Because she doesn't have a, an attack speed steroid or anything like that. It's just, oh yeah, her abilities hurt. You can get around that. Try to get vision for a decent play. I do see some low HP targets. That Neath looks very juicy. Fuck it. Up, up, and away. She's going to flip. Yes, yeah, she's going to flip. I've got mail. And you should die. Get the kill. Get out. Someone give me sprint. I appreciate that. I got mail in a second as well. Someone's in trouble in life. Got to go save him. But it is Ravana. Big Sobek in deep. I like that. True support there. Like, he saw one of the warriors in deep and he went in behind to help. The enemies are charging down, but I see so she is the target. Got the three, got the three, got the three, get a kill. So has got bulwark, he's alright. There should be another kill as well. Beautiful. Before we get a double as well, he's up there. Is he actually going in? Is he actually going in? He is going in. Get yourself out. Let the heavies take care of this. Three kill nah I can reach. Neither could he. But we tried. We tried. Doesn't that count for something? We tried. I'm coming so big. I'm a coming boy. Save yourself. Run away. Flee. He turns around to help us. We don't need your help. Run. Run. <laughs> but he won't run. But I like that. I like that kind of. He was willing to go in there and fight. I like that. I like that from a support. But I mean, at that HP, you weren't needed, man. There's a, there's a Ravana on a fed for and I just. You done well. You done what I need you to do. And I wouldn't hold it against you if you run away at that health. No one would. They are following us, so we can't go for it. I mean, they can't go for it either. I mean, I'm not... Really, they're actually trying it. That's... See, I'm not that low. They can't really do it. Oh god, 156 damage. Ah, it hurts. Oh no, wait, it doesn't. So that's a sentry ward as well. That looks like one dead. Neath beads and sprint down and a death. Good job by the Ravana. I actually mistake, shouldn't have ulted there, but since he was ulting, but I wanted the damage, but then I get pulled, so... Was it worth? Don't really know. Hard to say. He has been slowed down. We can maybe get... No. Rubber bandy. Give up. Go home. Job is done. Ravana is a hungry fucker, though. Look at him go. He gets nothing. So as people, we've got the full Titans, and now we can just grab Magi's. The reason for Magi's is simple. Feels kind of late game-ish. It's still a good aim. Remember they buffed it, 70%, or 70%, 70 seconds for your bubble. So it's quite nice. Something to keep in mind. Plus, never forget, some forms of CC don't pop it, like Ares Cripple, it won't pop the bubble. I remember back in the day, it did fucking hell, man. Poseidon would put down his Whirlpool and pop it, and I loved it. But apparently people complained that it was too easy for me to pop it, so they made Cripples not pop it, and then it was sad. Because then there's no counters for Cripple. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. It wasn't. It wasn't a good idea then. It's not a good idea now. 
Anyway, our team are fucking ripping it up. We're 25 to 24, so it's really close in kills, but we've got like two or three goal theories. We've got more towers in them. Like, they're not doing the important shit. Right, oh, there it is. That's the two activate. This gives you a power boost. <sighs> Sanctuary. She still dies, though. Fucked up jump. <laughs> Fucked up jump again. But didn't fuck up the, the fucking bait. She's gonna die. Me, that, what I told you, you're tasty and asking for it. Come get eaten and die. Feels good. So now we're trying to fight Osiris on the tower, which is not the smartest thing we've ever done. But I've got a shell, which is offering me some protection. Actually, swinging pretty hard. I even got a kill, surprisingly. I'm trying to save Sobek. Run, Sobek. Sobek. Credit to Sobek, though. He did put in a performance. He always... He was willing to dive and fight. And I like that. He was willing to dive and fight. And I like that. Big Ravana was willing to dive and fight as well. But you'd expect that from your Fed Soul, the warrior. You've got your Fed kind of... Jungle assassin. Who's also Fed. So we're quite tanky as well. We're the kind of... We're warrior. I, mean, I don't really feel right saying assassin. But we're not warrior. We're, we're bulky, you know. So we're kind of tanky, Ravana's kind of tanky, and he's Ravana, Ravana OP. But I like the fact that the Sobex always want to dive deep, and Big Apache is bringing the deeps. The only real problem with this team, honestly, of all the randos is the Kyra, not too much. But apart from that, really, really good. Now I've got the bubble as well, Thoral is coming down, but he's too late, and he died almost immediately, I don't know how. We've got the Fire Giant, I've got Bubble, I've got Red Pot Tang, I've got a bunch of wards. The dream people. I feel pretty good. I feel. I feel kind of unstoppable. Last item for the banana. He's got Wing Blade there, but Wing Blade. I'm pretty sure at this point Wing Blade has been nerfed. It now no longer gives. It no longer gives cooldown. It's a dead item. Can I hurt my Alquang Bull? I'm gonna have to rethink that now. Uh, I was quite happy to accept 35% CDR. But I'm not taking 25% CDR, so. I'm gonna have to rethink that. Anyway, I'm fucking roar abandoned and lagging into battle. Try to get a soul. I actually didn't want to fight here. I actually want to zone them out so we can take the tower. But I've actually failed to realise Chiron is in life lane. Split pushing. When we have Fire Giant and we're so far ahead. So now I'm just gonna fuck it. I'm just gonna try and zone them out as best I can. But I get absolutely obliterated. Uh, you know, obviously he's going to get the turn, obviously he's going to get the fucking Phoenix, well, I hope he get the Phoenix. But we'd have taken it all anyway, we've been winning all the team fights all game, and we're ahead. Why the fuck would you go split push? We're the ones winning, we're the ones ahead, we're the ones with Fire Giant. Why would you split push that? So I'm just trying to tell him, like, I'm not even fucking BMing him, I'm just telling him, because I know some people always pick up on that. When people do shit and I tell them to do shit, oh, you're BMing him. No, he's doing shit, he's getting felt. As such, you could argue it may not make him play better, but if you tell him what he does wrong and why he's shit, then maybe he'll. No, oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe we do. Yeah. Won't he be less shit? Yeah, you got the Phoenix Cairn, and that's good, but. We'd have got it anyway. We've been winning. We have FG. We should do the fight because I tried to zone them out thinking you were there. That's my fault. That is actually my fault, honestly. I should have looked to see that he was way out of position. And then we went, look guys, we can't fight, that tits off. Fair enough, getting to a Phoenix is really nice, but <laughs> we'd have got it all anyway. So yeah, I, I should have noticed he was out of position, and I didn't, and I tried to push anyway, because like, you look at the team and Chiron's not there, and like, I'm not there. No one's going to take the tower, Ravana does okay. I'm the secondary tower push because I do have Titans and a decent whack of power, and the two to power boost myself up, so I'd be the secondary kind of tower push against him. But yeah, that would be it. So we're 30 to 27, but we're so far ahead doesn't matter. Like, the kills are even-ish. Like, they're nearly the same. But we're so much more gold than him. God, that feels so fucking weird. Fenner with fucking Roban, man. It's not good. I think you could get used to it, but see when you're not used to it. You, you don't experience this. I've queued up any plenty of times, and it's fine. Fine. At 120 ping. See when you go up to 150, man, it feels a bit weird. I know a lot of you suffer with more ping than that, and honestly, my heart goes out to you. May the glory be with you. But I'm not used to it. See when you're not used to it, it feels so fucking weird. 
But if you're used to it and you can make it work and you do really well with it, you know, fucking hell, well done. Genuinely, well done. Do their credit for them. See, I'm really happy to build Warrior Fenra. Perfect. I kind of miss meditation. Beats it alright. Build looks beautiful. Beautiful. It does. It's got everything. Plenty of pen protections. And watch this. The power of the bubble. Hey. It's nice. It is nice. It doesn't protect you from the damage, but you know, it's nice. Giving out the shell as well. This gives us a big fucking protection buff. I'm trying to get into the squishies at the back, but it's fucking hard. So I grabbed an Ares for some reason. I am not smart. And it looks like I'm about to... Oh! Beads stopping the cripple. Oh, boy. Honestly, you get nerfed. You can actually get big nerfs. I think it's because they want Joust League to be respectable. And you can't have full power at Flash and Joust League. Fucking hell. It'd be painful. He missed every shot of his ult. But we got the kill. We got to clean up. Four dead. One remains alive. Feels like Game of the Two Phoenix. Then the Chiron did actually get. Did give us the fire range. But did give us the game. So, I mean, it worked out well. But in a situation like that, don't fucking go off and solo the queue. Solo the queue. Solo farm. Or fucking... PVE, whatever you want to call it. Fucking come join your team, we've got Fire Giant. Let's go fuck them up 5v5. But you know, all's well that ends well, so. Can't complain too much. That was Fenrir on the PTS. It feels pretty good, I quite like the build, but as I showed in yesterday's video, Archon's still really good. Uh, Meditation's really good. Sanctuary's the, usually the best defensive active, in my opinion, a relic. But this felt like it beats because, you know. Aries. And even though the score looks impressive, give credit to Sobek, yeah he did die 10 times, stupid. But he's part of 22, I was part of 22. And credit to Ravana, part of 21. And Apwash, part of 23, but he did die 7 times. The only really truly bad player was Chiron, who died 9 fucking times. With like a piss poor kind of kill participation, you want a bit more than that. So yeah, disappointing there, but what are you going to do? So guys, hope you enjoyed this, thanks for watching, and as always, see you all next time.